This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com with big sales on now and PowerPerformanceProducts.com where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects, the best pre-workout supplements on the market. Spencer Lazara, MMAInterviews.tv alongside Mr. Jiva Santana, the arm collector, just got a nice rear naked choke victory over Doug Marshall here at Tachi Palace Fights tonight. Talk us through the, the quick victory. Uh, the was pretty good, good fight, and, and I could like take him down quick and see the choke and finish him like in I think it was 30 seconds. That was pretty good. The hard work was back at the gym because I was waiting for five five rounds with the low ISO, which didn't happen, and it's not a big deal because whatever happens, there's a reason to happen, and it was a good fight. And I want to say thank you for Doug for taking the fight on short notice too, and that was pretty good. So obviously got the rear naked choke instead of the arm bar. We talked, as we said, pre-fight about how there's so many different submissions and it just so happens you got all these arm bars, but that's not necessarily what you're looking for. You're looking for any opportunity. Yeah, I'm a ground guy. I'm a jiu-jitsu, almost 20 years on doing ground and uh, there's so many opportunities, so many stuff that you can work in on position, submissions, arm bars, chokes, everything. So I'm glad that I got a rear naked choke too because a lot of people that just think like um, one of those fights that I lost, people are like, oh, you're just looking for the arm. No, man, I look for anything that, that I can get it to finish the fight, I'll be doing. So you've got a great record, improved it again here. You know, you're getting older. I know you want that shot in the UFC. You want to do a little lobbying to try to uh, convince the, the big show that, that you're worth it and you deserve a shot? Uh, do a little lobbying. That might be like my, my weakness because I don't know what I can do. The only thing I know how to do is fight, and I can prove that inside the cage, 16 and one. I don't think I have anything to prove anymore that I can fight. You know, and lately I've been fighting like all oh, stand-up guys, grounding guys, and you know, so I don't think one more fight matter, one less fight is gonna matter. You know, 15, 16, 11 and one. I saw a lot of guys fighting on UFC with the records that you know. It's not. It's not much for the record, it's much like how they can fight, if they have experience, if they can, if they are able to do it, you know. And then I just keep healthy, of course I'm getting old, but I'm keeping healthy and I have a nice diet, don't drink, no drugs at all. So it's, it's, a, it's a point that I got to be fighting and tapping everybody out and finish fight and winning because I know first I lose in one fight, ah, oh, he's too old for that. And never that I did before is gonna count. So I just keep doing my job, keep fighting as much as I can, beating people up, submitting them, whatever I can do. And if the opportunity is coming, that would be great. So if not, obviously you would want the Tachi Pals uh, fight with David Loiza uh, coming up here, probably uh, sooner rather than later, considering you have no bumps, no bruises, you can go right back to training. Oh yeah, for sure. That's how I look to fight, look to fight smart. Don't get injuries, don't get anything. Of course, not always happen this way, but I didn't get hurt this time and it was pretty good. So I can go back to the gym and start training again and be ready for whatever come next. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever fight come next. And just gotta sit down with my coaches and my coach, my manager, and we're gonna set some details, how we're gonna deal with that. But any fight, whatever comes, I'll be ready. And obviously your teammate, and uh, he, he looks up to you as a mentor, Ian McCall, Uncle Creepy, had an incredible performance tonight, took the flyweight belt. Uh, talk about his performance. Oh, that was great. That was great, and uh, especially because we are in the same camp for the fight, preparation for fight on the same day, so same page. And I could, like, see his growing and training every day, like, conditioning-wise, getting better and better and better. Besides that, he's pretty focused, you know, his mind is right there at the mat when he train, either Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, whatever it is. He always focused, trying to get better, to be way well around, to be a champ like he was today. Putting a lot of effort, working hard, and you, that's all you get, right? Okay. Appreciate the time. I'm Spencer Lazar. This is Jiva Santana, the arm collector. Look for him, Ian McCall, potentially both to be in the UFC at some point. If not, Tachi Palace fights middleweight title against David Loiza should be coming soon. Godspeed and party on.